I'm telling you, Steph and Clay are winning the chip. Yeah, I said it, all right? Because that super team that was supposed to be in Brooklyn, New York, dare I say they have some issues? And nobody much wanted to root for them anyway. And LeBron James, not but respect for the great one, the king. But he's finally on the decline. His body doesn't appear as if it's going to let him be the face of the NBA forever. We knew that, right? We just didn't expect it right now. But Steph, he ain't faded. He might very well still be ascending. Right when the NBA needs him most. The Golden State Warriors are the best team in basketball right now. And they're going to get even better very, very soon. It's a beautiful thing, y'all. It's a beautiful thing. Especially for the NBA. Although I must admit, I do prefer La La over the Bay Area. But we can't have it all. Not all. And if you put it that way, some. I mean, there's a play or two that I could appeal from this. Davis look, look, Russell look, Westbrook. Please, no. Excuse me, none of them. I'm sorry. All of them, bye. All right, I'm sure. Listen, I wish them nothing but the best. And I'm quite sure that they're making viable contributions at they other are. teams. They absolutely, they especially really in the are. nation's capital with Kuzma and Montrell's Harrow. I get all of that, but the bottom line is this. A.D. Anthony Davis is Anthony Davis, okay? Russell Westbrook, turnovers and all. The man makes clutch shots. He obviously is a future Hall of Famer. The game that he brings to the table, the aura that they both bring to the table. None of these guys are those guys. You're going to fit in nicely. You can make shots. You can rebound. You can do whatever. But in terms of them fitting with LeBron James, hell no. Is he right? No, he's 100% right. And it's mainly because, one, the, you know, once you win the championship, yes, then it's over. There's no That's more right. conversation. There's now, no more conversation. Anthony Davis and, and LeBron James should be judged by how many they win, right. not if they win, because they should win, and we they did what they expected. But ultimately, with that amount of talent on that team, they should have won too. That's the reason why you go. You're able to go get Anthony Davis when you were able to. That's why LeBron James decided to come to the Lakers because he knew that they had assets that could go get adults. Once you win. That that it sort that of ends the, the Trump conversation. Card. But 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 it is it is sort of fun to wonder. Like what would have happened if LeBron had played with half them dudes, mm -hmm. right? And again, I know Jordan Clarkson was was before. But Jordan Clarkson is the sixth man of the year. You put him out there with LeBron, how much more effective would he be? Uh um, they no, won. No, they won, no, Stephen no, A. I'm and, not gonna and go and back. The last thing on I'll say though is when LeBron left Miami to go to Cleveland. He did the ex oh he did the team did the exact same thing. They had the number one pick in Andrew Wiggins. They shipped him out and brought in Kevin Love. Right. We're gonna bring in an adult. So this is a, a similar formula that you've seen in other places. Don't remind me of LeBron James leaving South Beach to like go back to Lake Erie. <laughs> it changed my life. I don't like it. Okay, so let me let, let's just throw that out of the way. Secondly, I know we call him the Chicago native. He moonlight. I call him Moonlight Scottsdale Moonlight. That's his nickname, Scottsdale Moonlight, because that's where he is half the year. Okay, I'm bringing that up for this reason. If Anthony Davis were healthy last year, Phoenix, I don't believe, gets out of the first round. Right. And we know how good Phoenix is. I don't think they get out of the first round against the Lakers if well, Anthony Davis. If he was Davis, healthy, though, the Lakers Anthony, wouldn't have been playing him in the first well, round. Well, if Anthony Davis and LeBron, if Anthony Davis and LeBron James were healthy for that series, I don't think they get out. I don't think that Phoenix gets out of the first round. So let's understand who we're talking about here. We're talking about a guy in Anthony Davis that could have easily been the Finals MVP a couple of years ago. Let's remember that. He's Anthony Davis. None of these players you mentioned can sniff him. They can't even sniff him. Understood. But if he were healthy is a question we ask about sure. Anthony Davis. Every year. It seems far That's too fair. often. By the way, today, Russell Westbrook, 33rd birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. And Russell Russ. Westbrook. And, and so as as combined right now, that group, you still feel good about. That's, it. A, lot of, That's a, a lot of players, players man. Well, you gotta, and, of let, and let's give some credit because all of these guys weren't number two picks. You had Josh Hart. You had Kyle Kuzma. They had some gems that they picked. You know, uh, Zubak, he's been playing great with the Clippers. So they drafted mm. some guys in that middle. Well, round. Zubak said should have never let go of them. Never should have never had him. Had him. But it's just, yeah, you he can look right. at the you know what, you know what that means? Somebody, somebody's drafted well, well really, really well, well, consistently over a four. Can he take this Lakers team? Right now, I would tell you the conference finals. Um, I believe in LeBron James. I know that he's not what he used to be, but I think that's just a health situation. 
when LeBron James is on the court and healthy, clearly in a position where he's willing to preserve himself for the postseason now, more so than ever before. I think it's one of those situations where his basketball IQ, his ability to make and finish plays, his strength, his size, his girth, his basketball know-how, plus a perimeter shot that's not awful, it's decent. I think the combination of all of those things with Anthony Davis and the rest of the crew with Carmelo playing the way that he's been playing uh, thus far, even though I don't think that'll last, I still believe in Carmelo Anthony. In the end, I think it's going to take a sniper-like squad like the Golden State Warriors to take out the Los Angeles Lakers. JJ, can I ask you a question? And Keyshawn, we'll get to you because I know you're going to be very defensive all things LA in a moment. So, JJ, is it fair to say that father time is catching up to LeBron James? To me, it's the first time in my life, and I've known LeBron since he was 15 years old, where LeBron looks human. He looks human. He had a, a core injury a couple seasons ago. Last season, he had an ankle injury. He comes out and says, I don't know if I'll ever be 100% again after that. Mm -hmm. Then another core injury to start. This, the way he started this season honestly reminds me a little bit of like 2018 with, with the Cavs, where he kind of cruised through the regular season in order to sort of save himself for the playoffs. If we look at this Lakers roster, though, it's a clunky fit. It's a clunky fit with their big three. They need more shooting on the floor. Who knows if Melo's hot shooting is sustainable at this point? They definitely need at least two other, two other great right, shooters. Do you think bringing in Westbrook was the right move? They gave up a lot for, for Westbrook, but some of that was fit. I don't think Kyle Kuzma was a great fit there. I don't think Montrez Harrell was a great fit there. Those guys are playing great in Washington. They gave up a lot. What they didn't get back was any shooting, and that's what they need. They need more shooting. But well, the one thing I will say before Keyshawn chimes in here is that that is a reflection on Frank Vogel, who I like personally. But I will tell you this. You don't use Montrose Harrell at all during the, po during the playoff series against the Phoenix Suns. You don't use him at all. Kyle Kuzma didn't necessarily develop under you. You know what? It, looking at them and the way they're playing in Washington right now in the nation's capital, if they keep this up and the Lakers continue to struggle, which I don't think will happen, it would be the Lakers side anyway, you're going to be looking at Frank Vogel and being like, what the hell's going on here? Six and five ain't a struggle, I don't think, when you don't have LeBron James 10 games into the 11 games into the season, right? I know we talked about Westbrook. Yes, that is a problem in terms of shooting. But can Westbrook start the game, give him seven minutes, come and be the second unit guy that does what he did a couple games ago, which is score at a high volume? I mean, we're not asking Carmelo Anthony to score 29 points a night. Mm -hmm. So if he can give us half of that, I think we would take that and be happy with it. Oh, he'll right? give you half of that. If you can get half of that, yeah. you can get half of that. I think you yeah. take that and you 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 run to the hills with it. LeBron James, yeah, father time may be catching up slowly, but it's got a long ways to I'm go, not, JJ. I'm, I'm never going to discredit right? or, no, or I didn't question say he was LeBron. LeBron. He said LeBron, human. But it, he, he looks human. Yeah. He looks human. Yeah, in the early stages. What about late in the year, second half of the season, all-star, if we was having this conversation and you said to me, yeah. he looks human, you know, when they're getting ready to go into the roll sure. into the playoffs, sure. now I'm a little more worried. The biggest problem for me is can we keep AD I've, healthy? I've told y'all. Can we keep AD I've healthy? I've told y'all all year long. I said, look. Ten games in, by the way. Well, uh, yeah, I'm just talking about preseason. Once, okay. once the, right. well, the, minute right. the, right. the minute the trade was made. Right. I've said it. It's going to come down to Russell Westbrook. Yes. I know that with, with Anthony Davis, you're looking at health. Health. With LeBron, you're looking at health. With Russell, with Russell Westbrook, you're looking at how you play. Last night, had a triple-double. Mm -hmm. Five turnovers in the fourth quarter. Five. And, they were, and some of them were pivotal ones. You're going to look at him, and if you're in, the, you're in the opposition, you're going to challenge him to make the right play at key pivotal moments. Now, with LeBron there, that's the ultimate cover because we all know in how, the LeBron, fourth quarter. how LeBron usually is going to make the right plays. But the bottom line is, is that you're going to look at them and you're going to find a way to put Russell Westbrook in a position where he's the one that has to come through for you in a pivotal moment. And the question is, can he do that in terms of his decision-making and his shot-making ability? Well, I would think in the fourth quarter he would defer, obviously, to LeBron, especially like bringing the ball up the court, spacing it out. Because as you said, LeBron is not a deadly shooter, but he right. does shoot the ball pretty well now. So that's your guy. In terms of Westbrook, in terms of Westbrook doing what he's doing, Stephen A. and J.J., 
he's a second unit guy for me. Giving LeBron rest, he comes in there and he gives us that increase in scoring. Sure, he loves being called a second union guy. Hey, okay, hey. so so JJ says LeBron looks human for the first time. The fit's a little clunky. You're a little concerned about Westbrook. You're a little concerned about AD's health. I will ask you, Mr. Laker, if you were a betting man, how far is your squad going? Probably to the championship. Yeah, probably. Pro- Chip I, I, I know they. Yeah. I know they're going. Be I there forgot at who I was asking. Yeah. And I'm believing in LeBron and AD to stay healthy to get us over the hump. What I, should, what I would say is it should be who JJ mentioned. It should be Utah. Okay. I don't have faith in anyone in Utah outside of Donovan Mitchell. Somehow, some way, they just let me down to Engel and, and go bad. They just let me down. Okay? They just let me down. And I am a, I'm just a believer in the Golden State Warriors. I'm just talking about. 